A monumental moment on November 16th, 2022. Artemis 1 marking the beginning of a series of NASA missions. The first step in returning our country to the moon and on the Mars. During that mission, an uncrewed spacecraft traveled beyond the moon, traveling a total of 1.4 million miles in 25 days. The mission was considered a success and set NASA up for Artemis 2. It's going to be really special getting to fly the first humans around the moon since the early 70s. Woody Hoberg is a NASA astronaut. He won't be part of the four person Artemis 2 crew, but he's excited for the mission which is set to take off by April of next year. For this mission, the crew won't be landing on the moon. Instead, this 10 day flight will travel near the moon, establishing NASA's foundational human deep space exploration capabilities. There's so much more to see on the moon. There's a lot of scientific discovery to do. We want to set up moon bases, do all the things. It's also about inspiring our youth like and inspiring the aerospace workforce because uh, this is just a big, bold set of missions that we're embarking on with Artemis. So we have 50 years of history in Redmond building rocket engines right here in Washington. Catherine Luchek works at L3 Harris's facility. It's the company responsible for producing 32 rocket engines for the Artemis missions. It's really important to us that we make engines that we know are going to work well and work right every time so that the astronauts come back safely. If successful, the third Artemis mission is to land on the moon in 2027. In Redmond, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.